So this was something that we tried last year and students liked it and it works really well and it's really clear. When we've done this in class, sometimes the data can be a little bit messy. So this one is called uh, Exploring Momentum and Impulse, the cart push off. So you guys are gonna take a look at a couple of videos and measure some things to be able to analyze impulse and momentum. So there is up at the top a video what you have here is two people, each person is on a cart, and you have some tools you can use. There's two different measurement devices, and it's a good idea to have both of them handy. And there's also a clock, and you can reset the clock to zero wherever you want. My recommendation is that you measure the way the cart moves and not something on the person. So if you chose something like the back of her shoe to measure it from, that might be okay. But if you chose like a knee, their legs bend a little bit. And so that might give you some data that's not exactly accurate. I like the back of the cart and I would pick one of the one of the edges, you know, the back of the cart or the front of the cart. You could choose an axle if you wanted to. Those are pretty easy to see. Um, a little bit tricky, but I like I like using the back and front of the cart. So if I put if I put these two rulers here, they're in centimeters. You can set this to whatever you want. To play it, you hit the triangle button, right? Let it go, and you can measure um, how much they've traveled and what time. If you decide you want to set this to a different time, you can re-zero it. Um, so that's some of the features of the video. And then there's just three sections down here. Um, so the first one is analyzing trial one. They give you data about the mass of the people and the carts. So keep in mind if you're if you're worried about the system of a cart with a person, you need to include both of their masses, the mass of the person and the mass of the cart. Uh, here you get you have multiple choice, um, but you can choose um, the velocity that you calculated for when they are no longer touching each other. That's an important point because at that point force is no longer being applied. And so there would not be a new acceleration that you would just have velocity. So down here, it says calculate the total momentum of the system comprising the two carts and the two people. Remember that momentum is mass times velocity. So if you want the total momentum, you're going to need to measure the momentum for each person with their cart and add them together. That's all that that is. Um, so make sure that you add those together to get that value there. There's some multiple choice questions here. And then in a second section, they have analyzing trial number two, which asks you one question. The one question is determine Connor's mass. So if we if we scroll back up towards the top, oops, we scroll back up towards the top, um, trial two is going to be the other video. So we click on trial to get trial two, reload it. It leaves all of our tools there. Um, but now we've got two people sitting on one cart and one person on the other cart, and you're going to use their masses, the masses of the cart, and you're going to measure the velocities once they're no longer touching each other to figure out what, what Connor's mass is. So um, keep in mind, you know, if what you're interested in is their velocity once force is no longer being applied, you would want to be measuring velocity at some point where they're not touching each other. So, you know, you might actually set these up, move the video to a place where they're not touching each other, and then reset everything. So now I've got zero time. I've got my devices um, where they currently are. And then I can run it and use that change in distance with this change in time to figure out their individual velocities. 